Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk about Fenoscript, a new language for describing species. First of all, I would like to thank the folks from our lab who are the co-authors of this talk and who are actively contributing to Fenoscript. Phenotypic data are growing rapidly, and many of these data come by means of species descriptions. Currently, we have more than 1 million species described and these descriptions are published in various papers and monographs. Additionally, scientists describe from 15 to 20,000 new species every year. Should we have this data in a machine understandable format, this would probably change the way we do biology. Unfortunately, most of these descriptions come in the form of natural language. And natural language is not understandable by the computers. This makes these descriptions not really reusable by subsequent studies. Ontologies are the technologies that can help solving this problem. So what is ontology? In present context, ontology is a term from computer science, not philosophy. It's basically a set of computational tools for data representation and inference. In other words, ontology is a technology that helps modeling complex interlinked concepts from any domain of knowledge. Many ontologies have been already developed and many of them are available through various repositories, like for example, Obo Foundry. We have ontology for the anatomy of vertebrates, for the anatomy of insects, for plants. Also, we have a lot of methods developed to deal with ontologies and traits. Many of these methods were developed by Finoscape project. Finoscape was a collaborative project that strived to develop semantic databases to work with semantic phenotypes. And if you are interested to learn more about this project, I recommend you following the links provided on this slide. Pinoscape project developed Phenex. Phenex is a software with graphical user interface that helps annotating characters from character matrices using ontologies. Phenex uses entity quality syntax where entities are some anatomical structures and qualities are their qualities like for example, shape or coloration. Uh, and to perform the annotation, user need to select um, specific entities and qualities from the list of predefined ontology terms. However, natural language descriptions are different from matrix-based descriptions, right? So natural language are much less constrained, they are much flexible, and they have richer semantics. So oh, matrix-based approach is not applicable to them. To fill out this gap, we have developed a new computer language called Phenoscript that helps describing species semantically. And here you can see the example of the Phenoscript statement. This statement says that male of Helictopleurus sicardi, a down beetle species, has black protibia and convex pronotum. It's convenient to think about any semantic description as of a knowledge graph shown here on the bottom, where nodes represent some anatomical entities or their properties, and edges are some relationships between them. All these terms, they come from defined biological ontologies. So the main goal of Phenoscript is to streamline production of species descriptions of semantic phenotypes. I need to say that uh, species of phenotypes can be described semantically using other approaches, other languages. For example, such languages as turtle or owl, which also deal with ontologies. So, but Phenoscript descri description is much more compact. For example, what just takes three lines of text in Phenoscript description would take more than 200 lines in turtle or owl formats. Phenoscript is very flexible. Thanks for watching my talk. This is what you can see right now on your screen written in Phenoscript. 
So basically, FENA script can be used to describe anything, including ecological statements, including metadata statements. The only limitation of using FENA script is availability of appropriate ontologies. If necessary ontologies are available, then they can be used for any kind of descriptions. To help write in Fenoscript, we develop two software packages. This is uh, a Fenoscript plugin for VS Code Studio and Finospy Python package. So all this software is open source and freely available through various repositories, for example, GitHub. So what is a uh, VS Code? VS Code is, uh, is an advanced text editor and Fenoscript plugin for VS Code provides syntax highlight and snippets to guide term selection when writing Fenoscript. And I would like to show you how the general workflow of uh, generating semantic description looks like. So you describe your species using Fenoscript in VS Code. Then you use Fenospy Python package to convert your description into OWL format. OWL is a standard format to work with ontologies. And then three applications are possible. You can upload your OWL description, your semantic description uh, to Finorepo. The idea of Finorepo is to create a repository that works similar to GeneBank, but for trade data. So this repository is currently at the very initial stage of development. Next, you can use your semantic description uh, to do automatic comparisons. For example, compare your species with other described species. And this functionality is provided by Finospy package. Or for example, you can use uh, your description to uh, generate species diagnosis. Again, so this functionality is provided by Finospy package. Uh, so Finospy package is also under development, but many of these functions are already available. And the third application is to use your description and Finospy package to convert Fenoscript into annotated natural language description for publication. And this is how the annotated natural language description look like. Uh, so basically all the terms in this description are hyperlinked. And if you click on a particular term, your web browser will take you to the ontology lookup service where you can see all the necessary definitions and the relationships of this term. We are currently collaborating with Pansop to streamline publication publications of semantic description. So basically the main idea of this collaboration as you don't write nature language descriptions any longer. You write Fenoscript descript descriptions, translate them into annotated nature language descriptions and publish them in biodiversity data journal. So that's it. I would like to acknowledge my collaborators and funding agencies for making this research possible. Thanks for your attention, and I would be glad to take your questions. Thank you. Is there some question online? Nope. In the room, yes. <laughs> Just have to, okay. Thank you. Um, great talk. Um, I wonder what is the primary input for Finis, for Finis script? We can't hear you. Exactly the same as with Regine. We haven't your sound for the moment. Can you try to talk one more time? Yes, hello everyone. Can you hear me? Hello? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm here. I'm there. Hey. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The question was, what's the input for script? Uh, yeah, the input is the same. It's basically, so Fenoscript file is a text file. And you may think of writing Fenoscript uh, in, in the same way as writing a uh, traditional species description, right? So basically, you just describe the traits or phenotypes of the species in a textual format. Okay. Yeah. Another one. And so we have a question online by Michael Horton asking, if you ask multiple people to describe the same species in Finoscribes, how consistent is their output? Uh, I think uh, these descriptions can be different, right? It's uh, the same as asking to describe, to ask different people to describe the same species, right? Um, so for example, what, different, what these differences can be, it, like some people may use may just find different traits in the same species, which um, makes the species different from other species, right? But if asking about semantics, like, okay, if we describe the same trait, cannot be described differently or the same by different users. And the question is, uh, yeah, the same trait can be described differently as well. So, but the reasoning uh, engine of ontologies right allows us to do inferences even if uh, traits or phenotypes are described differently any other question nope yep i'm coming <laughs> don't worry it's okay Hi, Sergey. I'm uh, Shotaro Kakizoi from Japan. Uh, perhaps, oh. as you know, the Scarabacus. Anyway, <clears throat> do you have a, uh, maybe Fenoscript is maybe useful for the uh, foreign researcher, foreign taxonomist who use uh, foreign language uh, other, than the, other than the English. Do you have a plan to support uh, foreign language in the future? Yeah, actually, it's a good uh, question. Exactly. Ontologists, they allow multilingual approach. So basically, uh, if you have uh, if you just uh, translate terms in ontology into other language, then mm -hmm. your Fenoscript descriptions, as any other semantic statements, can be translated easily into any other language. So yeah, it's, it's quite easy to do. So the only thing that should be done is translating terms in ontology into another language. Thank you very much. No. OK. Next talk. Not sure. 